Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little pants or trousers for baby girls between six and nine months old. I made them to match the little sweater that I showed you since many of you commented and asked that I make the matching little pants. So here they are and I hope you like them. Now, the little pants that we're going to make in the tutorial, like I said, are for six to nine months, but you can easily make them smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching! Okay, to make these baby pants or trousers, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is an e-hook, and today I'll be using this baby DK weight yarn. This is the yarn that I'm going to be using, which is the same one that I used to make the little dress and the little uh, sweater that I showed you already in my channel. It's Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett. This is DK weight yarn. You can also use 8 ply or number 3 yarn. So here, to begin, I have a total of 84 chains. Now, without stretching or anything, this chain here is measuring about 42 centimeters, which is about 16.5 inches. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay. Continue with the next step. So here, to begin, like I said, I have 84 chains. What we're going to do here to begin the first row is we're going to join to the first chain. Make sure that you do this so that your chains are not twisted. Now insert your hook through the first chain right there. Now I forgot to mention that the waistband I'm going to make using the white yarn and then the rest of the baby pants are going to be in pink. I'm making these baby pants to match the little sweater. So here, join with a slip stitch. Now chain one and into the first chain, which is the same one where we joined, make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make one half double crochet on each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 84 half double crochets. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 84 half double crochets. To finish this row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the first row. Now for the second row, chain one. In this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning into the first half double crochet that we have here, make a front post half double crochet into the next a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do for this second row front post and back post half double crochets Continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. In this row, I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish this row and all rows to follow, you're just going to go here on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows three, four, and five, you're going to chain one. And here, beginning into this first front post half double crochet, you're going to make a front post half double crochet then a back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. For this row, this is all we're going to do, front post and back post half double crochets. Now, to finish this row, you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the fourth and fifth row. So continue, let's finish these five rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished making these five rows here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done. This is going to be the waistband. Now, what we're going to do is, this is where we finished. I'm going to turn this over. Here's the yarn that I had left when I did my chain. So we're going to go right here. And we're going to insert our hook between the first and the second half double crochet. So right here, insert your hook. I'm going to use the pink yarn now. I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space here, make a single crochet chain one. Now, skip one space and into the next, so this one here, make a shell. Each one of our shells is going to consist of four double crochets from here on. Chain one, skip one space and into the next, make a single crochet chain one skip one space and into the next make a shell this is how we're going to continue for this first row now notice that the shells and the single crochets i'm making them in between the stitches not on top of the chains right here these are the chains so here chain one here's my shell chain one skip one space and into the next make a single crochet chain one skip one space and into the next make a shell chain one skip one space and into the next make a single crochet chain one skip one space and into the next a shell this is all I'm going to do for this first row so continue I will meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 21 shells. This is my last shell. So now don't chain one here at the end. Just go here where we have the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this first row with a total of 21 shells separated by one single crochet. Now for the second row, turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell. We have four double crochets into the first double crochet make a front post slip stitch now chain three make a front post double crochet chain one two front post double crochets now we have the second shell make two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets this is how we're going to continue for the second row you're just going to make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue all around. I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where I've done front post double crochets. Now to finish this row, always go here to the top of the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now for the third row, just turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Now in this space between the first and last shell, so right here, make a single crochet, chain one. Inside each one of the chain one spaces, we're going to make a shell and each shell consist of four double crochets here's the first shell now chain one in the middle of the shells make a single crochet chain one and then a shell inside the next chain one space chain one in the middle of the shells single crochet chain one and inside the next chain one space another shell this is all we're going to do for this third row. Continue, I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I've done shells. I have a total of 21 shells. Now, this is my last shell. At the end here, do not chain one. You're just going to go here into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, these are the two rows that you're going to repeat, the row shells and the row from post double crochets. So for the fourth row, we need to do the row from post double crochet. So to do this row, all you do is just turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell. We have four double crochets. Into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three and then make a front post double crochet. Chain one, two front post double crochets. Again, we have the second shell. Make two front post double crochets. 
chain one, two front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of this fourth row, front post double crochets. When you finish this row, you're going to go here into the third chain, make a slip stitch, then turn for the fifth row, and in the fifth row, you need to repeat the row shells. And that's all we're going to do from here on. We're just going to continue and repeat the two rows. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part. Now, I did a total of 17 rows. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. My last row was the row of shells, and I have a total of 21 shells at the end of this 17th row. Now, it's measuring from the top of the waist to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. Now, if you want to make this part here longer, you can just make sure that the last row that you do is the row shells. So what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the legs. So here I have placed some stitch markers. This is where I finished. So for the back here, we're going to mark two shells. This is the last shell and the first shell. Now we're going to count nine shells, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shells for the left leg. This is the back side. And in the front, we're going to mark one shell. Now here I have placed two stitch markers on top of the single crochet, so make sure that you do that. Now for this other side, we have nine shells as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is how we're going to divide the legs. So nine and nine shells for each leg. And here in the center on the back, we have two shells and we have one shell in the center here in the front. So to divide the legs, we're going to turn this like this and we're going to continue with the pattern. So I finished the last row by joining to the beginning with a slip stitch and then I turned. So here we're going to work a front post slip stitch into the first double crochet of this first shell. Then we're going to chain three. Now make three front post double crochets. Skip nine shells, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the single crochet after the ninth shell, which is this one here where I have the stitch marker, make a double crochet, but before chain two. I almost forgot. So chain two, skip nine shells, and into the single crochet after the ninth shell, make a double crochet. Now, in the middle between the single crochet and the shell, right here into this space, this is a chain one space, make a double crochet. And then we have the shell. Make four front post double crochets. Now, into this next chain one space between the shell and the single crochet, make a double crochet and on top of the single crochet make a double crochet here in the front i now have eight double crochets two four six eight now chain two skip nine shells and into this shell after the stitch marker which is the second one we marked here for the back side make four front post double crochets Now to finish here, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done and this is how we're going to divide the legs. From here on, this is the front. In the front we only have one shell and in the back side we had two. Now I did these eight double crochets here in the front because in the back we have eight double crochet so that we have the same number of stitches. Now we're going to turn this to the back side. Here's the back. So facing me, we're going to go on the left side and we're going to go right here where we have the chain two space on the left side here where we divided the legs. And we're going to work this next row, row one of the left leg 
from the inside out. So insert your hook into the chain two space, grab a loop, and chain three. Now, I forgot to mention, make sure that when you cut this yarn here, leave a nice long tail because this is what we're going to use to close this hole that's going to be left here. So make sure you leave a nice little tail here so that you can do that once this part here is done. Now here, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. This here is going to be an extra shell that I'm going to add for the legs. So in total, we're going to be left with 10 shells once this first row here is done. Now here, we have this last double crochet that we did here when we divided the legs. So these eight double crochets, so into this eighth double crochet, we're going to do the following. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook here into this space, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go to the first double crochet of the first shell and make a front post double crochet. Now I have three loops close. I did this here. This is a front post double crochet decrease because if I go directly and work my front post double crochet into this first double crochet, there's going to be a big gap. So this is how I'm going to do it so that there is no big space here. If you want to just go directly and use this yarn here to close that gap, then that's okay too. It's up to you to do it that way. But I'm going to continue like this. It's only going to be done here on this side and once we finish the row as well. So now we have the next double crochet, make a front post double crochet, chain one, and then two front post double crochets. From here on, this part here is the same. Again, we have the next shell, make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. And from here on, this is how we're going to continue until you come to the last shell. So right here, continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have my last shell. I have my last double crochet here. Here I'm going to make my front post double crochet, but I'm not going to close. I'm going to leave two loops here. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to make this double crochet decrease so that there is no gap between this first shell and the last here. So I'm going to insert my hook into this double crochet here. That's right here for the back side. See right there. So into this double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now to finish, just go into the third chain here where we have the three chains that I did at the beginning and make a slip stitch. And here is the first row for this left leg with a total of 10 shells. Now for the, let's see, second row, we're going to turn. From here on, we're going to turn just like we did here for this part. And we have the first space. So right here in this space, make a single crochet, chain one, and then into each one of the chain one spaces of each shell, you're going to make a shell. So four double crochets, chain one, and then in the middle, single crochet, chain one, and then a shell. This part here is the same. So continue all around until you have 10 shells. Your last shell is going to be right here into this chain one space of this shell that I added in the center. So I will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here's my last shell. Up to here, I have 10 shells for this left leg. Now here at the end, remember I do not chain one. I'm just going to go into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this second row. From here on, we're just going to continue in the same way that we did this part here, repeating these two rows. So for the third row, we're going to turn here. And in the third row, I need to do the row front post double crochets. So here's the first shell into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch, chain three, then make a front post double crochet, chain one, two front post double crochets. 
Now we have the second shell. Make two front pulls double crochets. Chain one, two front post, double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of the leg. We're going to repeat these two rows. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of this row. And remember, all we're doing for the leg now is this part here. It's done exactly in the same way. The only thing is that here we have 10 shells compared to 21 that we had here. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with this leg. Now I have done a total of 16 rows from here up to here. There's 16 rows, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. The last row that I did is the row of front post double crochets. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this leg a little bit short. I'm going to do like more like a little caprice for babies. Um, and here I'm just going to now make a little ruffle all around. If you want to continue and make it longer, you can for me right now from here and up to here it's measuring about 15.5 centimeters which is about six inches if you want to continue and make the pants longer then go ahead and continue until you have about 23 centimeters long the leg here has to be 23 centimeters for six to nine months and then you can do um, a couple rows just like we did here front post and back post half double crochets and then uh, your pants are going to be done so you can do it that way as well i'm going to do it a bit differently like i said the last row that i did like i said it was the row of front post double crochets then i just join and turn so this here is the right side now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make three slip stitches one two three so the first one goes on top of the double crochet then another one on top of the next double crochet and the third one inside the chain one space now chain one and into the same stitch here make a single crochet chain one now in the middle of these two shells right here make a fan each one of the fans is going to consist of five double crochets separated by one chain so now chain one a double crochet chain one that's two three four five double crochets one, two, three, four, five, separated by one chain. Now chain one and into the chain one space of this shell, make a single crochet chain one. And then again, between these two shells, make another fan. And same thing, five double crochets separated by a chain. That's three, chain one, four, chain one, five chain one five double crochets separated by one chain and then again into the chain one space make a single crochet chain one and then between the next two shells again make your fan this is all we're going to do for this 17th row continue i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I finished making this last row, row 17. I have a total of 10 fans all around. Now here at the end, I did my last fan and I did a chain here at the end and joined to the single crochet that we did at the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. And this last row here is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this like this because the next row that we're going to do, we're going to go right here. We're going to work this row from the wrong side out. So insert your hook right here into this first chain one space this here is the last fan that I did so I did a chain here at the end so into that space insert your hook I'm using the same hook size but I'm going to use this white yarn now bring a loop through the front and chain three one two three now into each one of the chain one spaces that separates the double crochets you're going to make a single crochet then you're going to chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the last chain one space of this first fan. There, that's what it looks like. We have one, two, three, four, five, five chain three spaces. Now, 
we're going to skip the single crochet and we're going to go into the first chain one space of the next fan so make a single crochet there now chain three and then again same thing into each one of the chain one spaces make a single crochet then chain three single crochet into the next chain three single crochet into the next chain three single crochet chain three and single crochet and here's the second fan that's what it looks like now to do the next one skip the single crochet and into the first chain one space of the next fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three and so on and this is all we're going to do for this 18th row continue and i'll meet you here at the end okay i finished making this last row row 18 here at the end to finish i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is all done that's what it looks like I absolutely love the way that this looks here with the little ruffles here at the bottom now again these little pants are going to be a little short these are more like little capris but if you want to make it longer I already told you you can make the leg longer up to 23 centimeters and then you can finish at the bottom by making a couple rows of front post and back post half double crochets I would do the last row in the same way this row of front post double crochets and then you can do front post and back post half double crochets here where we have this row double crochets that would be up to you that would be another option for you um, if you want to finish your pants a little bit more differently a little bit more traditional but I absolutely love the way that these look here so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the second leg so here this is the front so we're going to turn this this is the back side so with the back side facing me we're going to go here to the right we're going to do the right leg and same thing we're going to start here where we have the two chains so insert your hook and same thing we're going to work this row from the wrong side out because this row from post double crochets is worked on the wrong side so grab a loop and chain three I'm going to start you off here and show you maybe a row two and then you're going to continue on your own because it's exactly the same thing we did here now I have my three chains into this same space here make a double crochet chain one and then two double crochets here's the first shell now if you added more chains here under the leg to add to the circumference here of the leg then you can do two shells instead of one and then you're just going to continue all around with 11 shells instead of 10. Um, that would be up to you make sure that you try this on and if it fits perfect then you don't need to do any more adjustments but if you do that would be a way to add more chains here when we divide okay so here to continue i have my first shell here now right here we have this double crochet this is the back side so here yarn over insert your hook here into this double crochet take two loops off leave two loops on the hook and then go into the first double crochet of the first shell out of these nine that we have and make a front post double crochet here we're making a double crochet decrease with a front post double crochet so now to continue work a front post double crochet chain one and then two front post double crochets now from here on it's the same thing we did you're going to make two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets on each one of the shells and then continue in the same way all around continue for this first row for this second leg i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row to the second leg here's my last shell i did my last four front post double crochets here now remember that here between the three chains and this last shell we have this double crochet here so insert your hook here into this double crochet take two loops off leave two loops on the hook then go into the third chain here at the beginning and make a slip stitch and this is how I finished the first row. You should have a total of 10 shells, which is the same thing we have here on this other side. And from here on, you're just going to continue and repeat the two rows. So turn here for the second row and into this space here, make a single crochet chain one. And inside each one of the chain one spaces, you're going to make a shell 
Now this part here is the same we did for the other leg, exactly in the same way you're going to continue. So single crochet between the two shells, chain one and then shell again. Now you're going to continue like this all around. You're going to do a total of 16 rows and then you're going to finish with these last two rows here. So continue, finish this second leg and then I'll come back and show you the finished pants. Okay, I finished making the last row here for this second leg. Here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And then I'm just going to hide my ends here. This part here is all done. Now remember that this second leg, it's done exactly in the same way as I did the first leg. Now, here's the back side. Remember in the back side, we have two shells. This is so that there's more room here in the back and in the front, we only have one shell. So make sure that you are in the correct side. I also went ahead and just weaved in this little ribbon all around. You can also do like a long chain and then just weave it here in the same way. So the little pants are all done. I simply adore these little pants. They're so cute and adorable. I also gave you the option to make them longer. I would just continue and make sure that this part here measures about 23, 24 centimeters and then finish in the same way um, here like I showed you. Or you can even do what we did here um, in the sleeves. The last row here is the row of front post double crochets, and then we just started to do front post and back post half double crochets here for the sleeve. So you can do the same thing here for the little pants if you want them to be longer. I mentioned that this style here is more like little capris. They're short little pants, so that's why they're a tiny bit short, but you can certainly make them longer. Okay, so now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the waist to the end of the last row here, it's measuring about... 37 centimeters, which is about 14.5 inches. From under the leg to the end of this last row, it's measuring about 17.5 centimeters, which is about seven inches. From the middle here up to the waist, it's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. And now this part here, it's measuring about just the top 26.5 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches so based on these measurements these little pants along with the little jacket is for babies between six and nine months old now the little jacket if you want to make the little set just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel. You will find the tutorial there or I'll leave the link down here in the information box as well. There I will also leave um, some information on how you can make the little pants smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.